We are in the Krems. Which, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But we are here. There's our sister ship that we were traveling with last night, the Viking Golvig. And you can see on the very front of our, on the very, on the very bow of our ship, You'll notice how we have wraparound garland with lights. The other Viking ships don't have that. So when I say our ship is better decorated than the other ones, that's one of the things that you immediately notice. And we, we, uh, we took great pride in the fact that, that uh, <laughs> took great pride in the fact that our ship was much better decorated than its counterparts. So, uh, so we're gonna walk in the city here. We actually need a. Uh, we actually probably need to go the other way. Yeah, we'll go the other way. This must be the biking tour from this morning. <laughs> well. Yeah, I said. Yeah, it's hard to fit the whole ship in the same shot. I can pan it. Pan from stern to bow here. And we are at dock 33. All right, we're going to take a GPS location so that we can get our get ourselves back here with a taxi in the worst case if we need to. So uh, I'll be back with a little bit to uh, walk you around the Krem. All right, guys. So we're walking along the uh, walking along the shore here towards the city of Krems, if you want to call it a city. But the one thing we noticed on the way over is that they have a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Oh. And they have. I don't know what this shop is, but they. They take great pride in their Christmas decorations too because <laughs> they're going all out here. Oh, I think this must be a tourist uh, yeah, it's a tourist, tourist info thing, yeah. yeah. That's why it's so well decorated. But they have a Christmas tree. <laughs> all right. So he said walk down, there's Second, se second, second roundabout. So this is the first roundabout. All right, guys, we're almost, we're almost at the Krems. If you see that railroad trestle there, that kind of goes perpendicular into the city center. So there's a pedestrian footbridge here that we're going to take into the city and just kind of, just kind of shop and walk around and see what we can find. The girl at the front desk said they're famous for apricot schnapps here and I said well if I have apricot schnapps you're gonna be leaving without me because I'm not gonna find my way back to the uh, to the bridge but way off in the distance up in the hill there you see a, uh, a fantastic uh, monastery or castle or something we were trying to decide if that was the Abbey I don't feel like it can be because that would be even from here that would be a hell of a drive um, but maybe that's why they got going early I'm not sure so that might be the Abbey we'll have to far, so we'll have to Google it yeah Angelina said it was far so that might be it so it's, if that, it's either that or the Milk Abbey there's two Abbeys okay so that's either that's either the Got Big Abbey or the Milk Abbey okay guys we're coming into downtown Krems here um, yeah city center one thing we noticed here is this the ultimate in economy transportation here this is a i don't know what you want to call it it's more like a like a car go-kart hybrid here but uh built by renault and we're now coming into the city center if uh i just made the comment that uh, if our friend justin scard was with us we'd say this looks like the orange circle but uh since uh since we're in the crumbs obviously it's not the orange circle um offerings let's check the ur here so here's the UR here. We are actually in the city center, the dead, dead, dead center of the city okay. from, from what I can tell. Um, and that's a 230, 203 meter resolution. Yep. So we started, we started down here at the, at the Viking docks and we're now in the city center. Um, so we'll probably, what we'll probably do is we'll probably 
check out this cafe and take this walking tour here and maybe make our way over to uh, mm -hmm. over to this guy looks like a big railroad yard mm -hmm. over there but uh, this looks like uh, this looks like it's probably something over here so we'll go check that out and it uh, looks like that's maybe I don't know for a 200 meter resolution looks like maybe that's six eight hundred meters from where we're at right now so not quite a kilometer so uh, but we're gonna check this uh, we're gonna check this cafe out all right guys looks like we should have just walked a few more feet and we hit pay dirt here this is the uh, looks like the archway to downtown Krems and uh, you can see there the main street is uh, the main street in the old downtown area is decorated beautifully for Christmas uh, we bailed on that cafe because it was kind of a well at the risk of sacrificing our vlogs G rating so uh, so we uh, so we bailed on that and uh, I'll, I'll bleep that out and we'll, we'll keep our G rating but uh, but uh, so yeah so we we probably just should have here's a nice cafe here if we lived here this would be a great place to go but uh, yeah we just should have walked a few more feet and we would have hit pay dirt here so there's their Christmas tree in the center of town and we're gonna go check out the uh, looks like they have uh, there's there they do in fact have Christmas markets that they're setting up for but unfortunately it doesn't start until the 30th which is this coming weekend this coming Friday when we fly home and today is only Tuesday so uh, so we got a few more days before that Christmas market kicks into effect so uh, let's go to the downtown area all right this is the uh, the middle of the town here and these are all the shops and stuff that we're gonna do today while we're here I'm sure it was nice to go to the Abbey but we're not really Abbey people yeah I'd rather oh there's the apricot now yeah no she's right well uh, yeah we'll have to we'll have to uh, maybe we'll grab oh it's not a uh, yeah it's not a uh, it's not a bar we we have to no, no, take it with us yeah take it with us well, yeah, we'll bring that back to the ship. Why, well, it's going to be a sorry night if we drink that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're just sailing today. A nifty pizza place. Yeah, maybe we'll drink that on our veranda while we're sailing. Although I, I was going to, uh, I was going to strive to, uh, I was going to strive to edit together our Christmas concert video that we had on the tour the other night, because I promised a few of the people that I would post it on YouTube. So I may have to, uh, I may have to create a dummy page and. Uh, just with an empty link and uh, just if I get to post something actually I had a brilliant thought this morning what it may be easier it may be easier to edit it on my tablet because I just need to I just need to stitch the clips together and and uh, there's one shot of me in there that I need to cut out where I took a look at the front of the camera to make sure it was recording and check to see how much time I had left on the SD card and the battery so I got to clip that out and then once I do that it's ready to go and I'll upload it to YouTube for everybody um, so yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're we're gonna walk around the Krems here and uh, do some shopping and some touristing and get ourselves some apricot schnapps for the ship. And uh, there was an Aldi's that we passed on the walk up, so we're gonna stop there and grab some Pepsi for the ship. And uh, yeah. it looks like the, apparently the cafe is very noticeable because they they do a gingerbread yeah. over like over the top, but it, she didn't give the name of the cafe. And we're gonna go try and find this gingerbread cafe that we've been hearing about for years, but. I, I said that guy died like five years ago. It's gone. So, uh, so we're gonna go try and find that, and uh, and then as we're sailing today, we're gonna drink our our champagne and our apricot schnapps, and we're gonna be in fine shape for dinner tonight. <laughs> All right. So we we came up the street a little bit some more, and we found the gingerbread shop. So apparently, even though the guy died like five years ago, his daughter still runs it. So. Uh, <laughs> So uh, we're gonna go inside and grab something from from the gingerbread shop, and uh, and uh, looks like there's still quite a ways to go up yeah. there. I think it was almost probably the street is almost a kilometer long yeah. from if you believe that you are here. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna probably just end up cruising this street the rest mm. of the day and seeing what we can find and what we can buy and and uh, doing that. But let's go into the gingerbread shop here. See what they have here. Oh, it smells wonderful. Good morning. <laughs> oh, they have they have all sorts of wonderful things in the gingerbread shop. Brioche pretzels. I'm gonna get a coffee if I can get it to take with me. 
Okay? Uh, in a minute. Yes. We're deciding. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Oh, the cookie. Yeah. Sorry, because it's like a All right. I'm. I'm at. I'm at least gonna get a coffee, and we're gonna decide what we're gonna get here. So. Uh, all right guys, so we just left the gingerbread cafe and uh, we took a side street and there's these uh, Christmas trees with Santa hats, which we think are uh, which we think are the cutest damn thing. Um, and then this cafe, I'll tell you what, I may, I'll stick you in the door here, but they have, they have some of the most beautiful things that I've seen since we've been here. And uh, you can tell the, uh, and then their Christmas offerings can tell that the chef that works there is quite talented so we're gonna go we're gonna go see if we can stick our head inside this church here and it looks like it looks like a push oh look at that and this one's a pole oh yeah yeah so this is one of the uh, one of the uh, they're actually asking for so they've recently renovated this and they're asking for donations for those people who visit so we will we will leave a donation because that's that's the uh, that's the way things should be done and uh, this is a beautiful church um, just beautiful in the sense of uh, artwork and and uh, and history and, and that sort of thing. Um, I'll keep I'll keep a positive tone in the uh, in the interest of the holiday season. But uh, I say beautiful, but I could just as easily substitute the word opulent and take the conversation in a different direction. So with that said. I'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll make our donation here. Yeah, there's like a, here's the outside of the church we were, we were just in. And this is the, uh, cobblestone walkway. Um, heading on up. All right, guys. We just walked up that set of stairs to get up here. And, uh, cause this church is on a little hill. It looks like they have the, uh, stations of the cross sculpted outside. Uh, that is an entrance, but I bet we can't get in there. So we're going to walk around and see if we can't find our way inside. Zoom, zoom. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's an interesting story in and of itself, because we just read an article last night that said GM is uh, no longer going to offer sedans and North America anymore, which is an interesting story in and of itself, but that's a commentary left for another day. Yeah, so we found our way in, guys, through a through a side entrance, and this is the uh, this is the church that uh, we were looking at from the outside. So uh, again, a beautiful slash opulent architecture and and. Uh, construction and artwork depending on uh, beautiful or opulent depending on uh, depending on your point of view of such things and uh, looks like there's probably I'm gonna walk down here because it looks like there's probably an organ up there that we can take a shot of um, yep that's an organ all right I bet that baby hums All right, so we're gonna head, we're gonna head, uh, head on out and back down into the, uh, the center of the crumbs. All right, guys, so we're headed back to the Viking tour to shove off here from the crumbs, and the uh, that's our ship. So we, we, uh, we have the explorer suite. So we have the uh, there's two rooms on the back there. You see with deck chairs on the balcony. Ours is on the left side, the starboard side of the ship. And uh, and yeah, so that's uh, that gives you kind of a view of 
<coughs> view of the length of the ship. And uh, we're, uh, yeah, we got to give them our cards. They give, actually, Viking does this neat thing where when you get off the ship, they give you cards, and when you get back on, you have to give them back to you so that they know, so that they know you're on board. And it actually comes in handy too because we were supposed to leave at midnight last night. Well, we actually shoved off at about 11:40, so they uh, they knew everybody was back on board and accounted for. So we got underway about half an hour early. So. Uh, but this is our ship. They got the Christmas lights going on. Tonight we'll probably vlog from the uh, from our from our veranda as we're sailing towards uh, towards Linz, Austria. We'll probably make our way up to the sun deck as well because it's yes. a it's a fabulous day. I mean, it's very cold, but it's not uh, not rainy. It's completely dry, yep. and uh, we wish it was like this yesterday in Vienna. But we made. It rained all day in Vienna, but we made the best of it and it was still, uh, I'll tell you what, I haven't had, I've had a lot of experiences, but Vienna was really quite something. So, uh, so yeah, we're back at the Viking tour and uh, I'm sure Daniel will be pleased that once again, we went off and did our own thing and managed to get ourselves back on schedule. Although as, as Angelina pointed out to me last night with some of the more obnoxious passengers. There were two. There was an old couple that ate dinner next to us, and they were they were half an hour late to dinner and clearly having a knockdown drag out brawl. And these, when I say they were old, they were in their probably 70s or 80s. So, uh, so I suspect the Viking people don't hate us nearly as much as I thought they did, because uh, we're not causing any problems like that. And even better for them, we're. When we say we'll be someplace, we are there, and uh, so they haven't had to chase us. So uh, we actually have a good relationship, I think. So uh, I'll vlog down into the uh, as we go into the main uh, as we go into the main area here, just so we get the Christmas tree. And I may have done it three or four times, but I may do the the Viking tour painting again just so I get I'm not sure if any of my shots yet are clean so maybe this one will be a clean one for that get another shot yeah Angelina's gonna take another picture of the Viking tour it's a nice clear partially sunny day there's our frosted emblem that says Viking tour We are here. So we got to return our cards. And uh, I'm not going to do the Viking tour painting because.